There's only one, there's only one It's only one, just only one Just love and happiness, beauty and holiness She cute, right? Mm -hmm. I know, but let's start from the beginning. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And shout out to Clay here for sponsoring today's video. And just a quick note, if you order any of their wigs during their Black Friday sale, you get all these cute gizmos and gadgets along with your purchase of the hair. So let's get on in. And in today's hair, I'm so excited for this one. It's the Bye Bye Knot 7x5 Yaki Straight Texture. You can see the texture as I'm holding it. It is gorgeous. We know we love when the lace is already cut, the knots are bleached. And that's why they call it a wear and go wig because you literally put on your head and you go. Everything is done for you. It is a soft life type of unit. So you know I already got the braids on. The braids been in my head for a long time, but we're not gonna talk about it anymore. I'm putting on my stocking cap, which is already tinted for me. So some of the specs on the inside, it's got the clip and it's got an adjustable strap, which makes sure it is on your head nice and tight. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we're gonna pull it back. We're gonna adjust it nicely to our head to make sure it fits what our forehead is supposed to look like. And then I'm just gonna fix the part a little bit and push it back just a little bit so it doesn't make my head look so big. And now you guys already know I rave about the staple for the dark skin girls, the Ruby Kisses number 16 is going to make the dark skin girls lace blend with the forehead. We need the lace to be blending with the forehead. I don't wanna see any ashy lace out here, okay? You see it? Seamless, okay? So let's get into styling this hair. I am gonna straighten it, but it's not gonna take out the natural kinky straight texture of this hair. I'm just pretty much straightening it to get a little tiny bit silkier and to get the kinks out of it that it was like smushed up in the box in. So I'm styling it with my Con Air straightener. I think I'm on like 400 degrees. The hair, this is real human hair, so it's not burning or anything like that and it straightens like a dream. But you can still see that the texture is nice and in there still but it's still like so soft and the texture is still nice and kinky. So we love that. And I'm just gonna straighten this whole side and then we'll go from there. So for the top of my hair, I'm gonna use this wax stick where like the roots are supposed to be because there's nothing worse than a bulky wig, okay? We wanna remove that box type of shape and make sure that it's laying nice and flat and the hot comb gonna do it every time. So I'm also gonna push back the edges a little bit to make sure that it like frames my face better and it's not falling straight. But you can see how nice and flat it looks. Like, can't tell me it's not growing out of my scalp. It looks so good and it's nice and flat. So now I'm just gonna do the same exact thing with the other side. This is just a little bit of a difference, but you can also tell that it's still the same. It's just a little bit more uniform. So now both sides are done. This is what the final look looks like when the hair is nice and flat ironed. Look how beautiful, like the hair is shiny. This kind of reminds me of when I did the PCJ, the pressing comb in a jar. Y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. I mean, it's definitely throwback, but if you know, then the girls that get it, get it. So I decided to curl this side of my hair. I wanted to see what it looked like. I do like the straight side a little bit better, but I had to commit at this point. So I'm just gonna recurl that side and see if I like it. I'm still kind of like, girl, why did you do that? But I gotta see it through, got to see it through. So now I'm gonna curl the other side as well. I just kind of give it like the Shirley Temple curls, but then I'm gonna comb it out with my hands. So for a second, I wasn't really sure about the curls. I thought I liked it better straight. And then I had the aha moment right here. And I was like, wait a minute. It's kind of giving black Barbie. I can't even lie to you. The hair is just laying so nicely on my head. This is where I really started to feel myself. You see it. Look at the scalp. And it's glueless. Not a piece of glue is on my forehead. And it is laying low-key melted onto my hair. We love that. So there is one more step. I'm just going to use my concealer just to define the part a little bit. And this is what really makes the wig come to life. It was fine without it, but with it, it's giving chef's kiss. And I just dab it with my finger. And then that's really all that there is to it. It's a wear and go. You're good to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll leave all the links in the description box and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. It's only one, just only one, just there's only one, there's only one. It's only one, just only one, just